This video will show you how to remotely provision a Fanville phone on 3CX. All Fanville phones are fully supported by 3CX. 3CX natively supports the Fanville FDPS server. Therefore, when a Fanville MAC address is added as a remote stun extension, 3CX automatically sends provisioning information to the Fanville FDPS server. By doing this, when the Fanville phone boots, it will contact the FDPS server, which will respond with the provisioning information provided by 3CX. Once the Fanville phone has this information, it will then contact 3CX directly and download its configuration. To do this, firstly, go to your 3CX web console, then go to Extensions and edit the relevant extension. Go to Phone Provisioning, click Add. Choose the model of your Fanville phone and enter the MAC address. Now change the provisioning method to direct SIP Stun Remote. It is worth noting that for every remote extension you add, you will need to increment the SIP and RTP ports accordingly. Once you have done this, click OK to apply. If you return to the 3CX dashboard, you should see the successful RPS request in the event log. Now, plug in your Fanville phone. It may reboot a number of times before it reaches the auto provisioning screen. Once you see this screen, press view. In user, enter your extension number and password. And in password, enter the extension voicemail pin. You can get the voicemail pin by going to the extension in 3CX. Then voicemail and you will see the PIN number. Once you have entered this information, press start. The phone will then begin to download its configuration and it will reboot. Once the phone has finished rebooting, it will now be registered. If, for whatever reason, the RPS request fails, you will have to manually provision your Fanville phone. To do this, go to the extension in 3CX, then phone provisioning, and copy the provisioning link. Then, go to the web interface of your Fanville phone. Go to Auto Provisioning, Static Provisioning Server, paste the provisioning link in server address. Change the protocol type to HTTPS and change the update mode to Update after reboot. Click Apply and reboot the phone. If you still experience any problems, it's worth noting that if DHCP option 66 is in use on your network, then disabling this option on the phone will resolve this issue. Additionally, if there is another PBX like 3CX on the LAN, you'll also need to disable SIP, plug and play. The phone should then contact 3CX and download its configuration. The phone may reboot a number of times. Once it has finished this process, the phone will be registered. If you are still having trouble remotely provisioning a Fanville phone on 3CX, please do not hesitate to give our office a call on 0333 014 43 
photo and one of our experts will be happy to help.